Well, about a year ago, everybody learned about this little printer here. This is the Simi CNC Aris. It's a really small, pre-built machine that they've been working on for quite a long time, and mine finally showed up. So, let's take this thing out of the box and see what we got. Okay, let's see what we got here. Nice packaging. Not used to seeing that with 3D printers, are you? And there it is. The little Eris. And that's a really slick looking little printer. One of the things I've been wanting to point out to folks, because I've seen it, is you see these little facets? The idea is to give the machine surface finish something that looks a little like an STL file. It's kind of neat. There's a print on there from when they tested it. Everyone goes out the door tested. I'm not going to win any awards in my cinematography, mind you, but it gets the job done. Let's see what's else in the box. I'm pretty sure everybody else has seen everything else that oh, has been in here. You gotta fold the corners in to get the goodies in the bottom of the box. And it looks like a spool of yellow filament. Power cord, a USB cable, and a spatula. And the power supply. Well, here we go. There's been plenty of videos of other people setting this thing up and printing with it. So I'm going to spare you that. But uh, we're going to do something a little bit crazy with it. You'll see here in a second. Okay, so I had a guy ask me for an odd little request today on IRC about the Aris. And I figured, you know... That's just insane enough, I have to try it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna print with the Aris upside down and just see how well it'll work. And if I know the guys that see me, it's gonna work really well. So let's see, we are at temperature, so let's run the calibration routine and see how it goes. Yeah, see, it's smart. The uh, bed is moving a little bit, and it doesn't like the, the result it's getting. So it keeps trying. So what I may have to do is calibrate it right side up and then run a print. Yeah, it's not having any of my nonsense. So let me flip it back right side up. We'll run the calibration and try it again. Okay, so I've got it calibrated and uh, got rather angry with me too while I had it upside down. But That's kind of to be expected. It's not exactly operating inside its uh, envelope. <laughs> and uh, we're printing the calibration box right now. And uh, We'll see how it's going to do here. There we go. If this works, I'm just going to laugh my ass off. Oh, look at that. That first layer is just a little bit thick, but...
I'll be damned if it's not grabbing that that build surface. You saw it here, folks. An heiress printing upside down for no other reason than because I could. So there you go, J Random Internet guy. It's printing upside down. I don't know how long I can let this sit. I'm using my flip cam, so I really don't have a good view of how it's going to work. But uh, hopefully, it'll finish it. I mean, you can you can see that I'm not kidding. It is upside down. I'm going to have to hand turn the roll, I think. Move the printer a bit. And that first layer actually turned out really well. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Now keep in mind, I haven't done anything to this printer. I took it out of the box, uh, ran the filament load script, and that's really all I did, other than really anger at trying to calibrate it upside down. Well, we'll come back in a few minutes and uh, see what it looks like. Be back in a okay, bit. Okay, here's just a few minutes into it. We are on layer. God, I have no idea what layer we're on. Let's go over here to matter control and take a peek. Layer view. We are on layer 11 of 50. You see that? And it's just printing away. So yeah, not only can you knock this thing off the table a number of times and still print with it, providing of course you don't break the power cord, Steve, you can actually print with it upside down. I'll come back with an update in a second. And here we are, 26 layers into it. Still going strong. Silly thing. Well, let's see what it looks like. Okay, here it is finishing the last two layers. It's on 48 of 50 right now. It's now 49. And this is going to be the last layer, I think. This is all default settings. Right out of the INI file that you download from the order page. <laughs> See, it homes down, really. Okay, let's go ahead and set the camera down here for a second and we'll flip this poor thing right side up. Move the spool around. Almost had a tangled mess on my hands after that little adventure. Okay, so there we go. Now, let's see how good it printed. Rotate the little clips out of the way here. It's a hell of a neat little design. There's a convenient little finger hole here to grab the build plate with. 
There we go, nice cold build plate. Oh, it popped right up. Look at that. Okay. So, I will get my caliper here. My fancy little... Hey, zero that out. And we've got 20 millimeters exactly, which this is a 20 by 20 cubes, so you can't get much better than that. And 20.06 the other way. And thickness is 10. So not only does it calibrate properly, but will even print upside down after being calibrated and print accurately uh, to a degree that I'm not used to seeing. So uh, at least not without a lot of tuning and tweaking. And There you go guys, you print it upside down. Till next time.